Homeopathy and natural medicine can be as dangerous as any other medicine. Ty, uh, James Tyler Kent, the, one of the great American homeopaths, said homeopathy can kill. And it can, as gentle as it may be in principle. So, you know, we have to, you know, practicing medicine is a big responsibility. And, uh, you know, that's why traditionally this idea of idhan comes. In other words, you have the humility to practice medicine. And, you know, when I started studying early on and people started coming to me, the same sheikh that told me I should practice medicine one day came to me and said, you know, you should not practice medicine. And I said, oh, really? And he said, no. He said, look at something else. And I was shattered. I'd been studying all these things, learning all these things. I'd set my house up as a hospital for a period of time. I had literally had a hepatitis epidemic in London. I had beds in my house and people were in there and I was treating them according to the earth, air, fr hot, cold, wet, and dry foods and try doing all sorts of things. And, you know, but I said, okay, well, what am I going to do? So I, you know, several months passed and I decided to find a different career and I decided I was going to go into, back into art, fine art, and I was going to make tiles, geometric patterned tiles, and I started working on developing the things, and the, the same shake came to me after I had done that, and I had the designs and everything, and said, okay, you can start again now. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it was a little purification of saying, well, how attached are this to you? How much are you doing it for, for you know, some personal benefit and gain, and how much are you doing it as a real service? So, you know, uh, there's a man who, who uh, I remember, he was practicing, he was learning homeopathy, and this, had this idea that he was going to heal everybody, and he had this great power and knowledge that he was going to dispense to everyone. And, uh, and he seemed really disconnected, and we had a really serious talk one day about this very thing, about the responsibility of this. And, uh, and uh, he quit completely. I didn't realize in the conversation that it would sort of stir so much up in him, but it did. And he ended up not practicing medicine at all. He was going to study homeopathy and practice homeopathy. He left homeopathy and became someone that worked in purely in the realm of education around it. Books and materials and remedies and all that sort of thing. And he's made his career on that, but not practicing medicine. So, you know, we have to always sustain some degree of humility and there's no knowledge that comes without it. There is no knowledge that comes without that. Because it's not, we, it, we are not the ones with knowledge. Allah is the one with knowledge. And knowing. So, okay. So I think, did that answer? I, I said that because in kind of answering one of the questions somebody had. Is that, okay. Um, all right, so any other um, 